Hey guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Nitrogen OS on Android 10 for the OnePlus 3. So stay tuned for that. So guys, the Android 10 is making a scene, it's getting ported and uh, our device OnePlus 3 and of course a lot of other devices are also getting OnePlus uh, are getting Android 10 and Android 10 is actually an improvement which I like to see and it, is, have, it has been really good in my opinion. So let's get started now. What is Nitrogen OS? If you are, if you have been in the ROM development or ROM flashing scene, even if you have any interest in the ROMs, at least on the OnePlus 3, OnePlus 6, and all that, on the OnePlus scene, on the OnePlus 3, you know that Nitrogen OS bo was born as a performance-centric ROM, and uh, it got, it has gotten a lot of attention because it is one of the best ROMs available for people who want. A very good stable performing ROM. So let's get started now. First of all, what you see here is that, of course, ambient display is working, so that is a good sign. So let's get started on the inner internals of it. Now, this is a launcher with which it comes. It is a proprietary launcher, but it has all the stuff which I need. So it does have clear rolls by swiping down in the recent menu. It has all the options which I really, really like. So that is all cool. Let's go to the settings page. In, let's go to settings in the settings menu in the about phone page. You can see that it is uh, nitrogen. The version we are using right now is uh, the 8th January version. So it's using all the latest patches and all that. So that is pretty cool. Interesting to see. Apart from that, it is OnePlus 3, it is uh, Android 10, it has the general security patches, kernel is Nitrogen kernel, it is a modified version of Cyanogen mod kernel or Lineage kernel, so it is working, so it's pretty nice. Now, right off the back, I do want to mention that everything is working, I didn't really have any issues with it, so as you can see, I am running Geo, and Geo VLD is working, for those who are, ish, uh, for those who don't uh, believe me, let's make a call and show you that it is working. So as you can see, I mean, it is working and it, 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 it does work. So uh, if you know how Geo VLTs work, uh, if it doesn't have ULD support, it wouldn't make a call. So it is making call, it is working. So uh, with that rest assured, let's get to the rest of the stuff. Now, Nitrogen OS is a very interesting ROM in the sense that it is a purely performance based ROM. That is what I see it as. Um, I have uh, recommended this to a lot of people who really want performance like uh, gaming performance, all the benchmark scores and all that. This one is that sort of a ROM but it also comes with a lot of features. Let's get to the features now. First of all, um, as I've already said, VLD is working, uh, uh, the permission stuff is working. Let's get to the uh, display settings. In the display settings you do have a dark theme. You have, of course dark theme is available just so you guys know. Um, you have uh, display size, font size, all that is available which you can customize which is really nice. Apart from that, in the security I do want to mention that I am running in non-encrypted. Um, I'm not really sure if this works with encryption. Most of the ROMs are not working, at least on Android 10. So I wouldn't hold my breath. Just don't use decrypted folders. Uh, use the uh, decryption if you are planning on using a custom ROM, because that would be a safer option. Apart from that, everything is there. Everything is pretty nice. You do you do have digital well-being. You have wind down. You have all the options which are really really important. You have all that options available, which is pretty nice. Now the extra settings. Now extra settings are inside personalization options. In that you have status bar options. You have customization for status bar icons and stuff. You can customize that. Battery options can also be disabled, enabled or whatever you want. It is all available here. Network traffic indicator are available. You can customize the uh, threshold also which is nice. Hide arrow is available. Quick setting panel. You do have brightness slider. You can customize the brightness slider on the top or the bottom or you can disable it outright. Uh, speaking of quick setting tiles, uh, these are the Speaking of quick setting tiles, you can, uh, these are the icons which are available and you have the column and uh, all that options are available which you can customize here and these are all the icons which are available out of the box, you can use that, it works rather well. 
Apart from that, in the buttons option, you do have volume rocker options, you do have playback control, which is really, really cool, and also volume key cursor control, which is one of the bi biggest features I look forward to in a custom ROM, which is really cool. Apart from that, backlight customization is available, you can customize that. Accidental touch and button touch also is available, and the timeout option can be customized with that. Back button, home button, and menu button can be customized to default uh, custom action and also an application, which is really cool. It is the AOSP style, so it does work out really well. Now in the navigation bar option, you can invert the layout of the nav bar uh, if you are someone who uses on-screen navigation buttons, uh, which I'm not really sure why you would do that, but it is available, you can invert that there also. In the gesture options, you do have screen off power torch, which is really, really cool. If the screen is off and you wrong press the power button, it will turn off the torch and also it will turn it off after five minutes, which is also really cool in case it gets activated by um, accidentally, so it is available. Double tap to sleep on the status bar and also on the lock screen if you enable the lock screen available in the lock screen options you do have lock screen shortcuts you can disable that from here which I usually just disable that because I, I like to have a clean layout uh, lock screen charging info can be enabled disabled so it will show you the uh, milliamps and also the time left for full charge so it's really cool uh, fingerprint notification vibration can be enabled and also media cover can be disabled in the power menu you can customize all of this you can enable advanced restart from here it is available you can customize that apart from that notification options you do you have a customization for notification lights battery lights you have four way customization for that which is pretty cool heads up display can be customized or heads up notifications can be customized it doesn't have the timeout and snooze timer function which i would have liked to have but at least you have blacklist and whitelist which is really cool noise notification if screen is on is available you can disable that if you don't want noise or if you don't want the notification sound to ring whenever the screen is on so it works both ways for people who want it it works so yeah in call uh, vibration options are available you can enable or disable that which is pretty nice to see miscellaneous option wake up on charge if you want that and in the device features you have Austin gestures which is really cool if you want double tap to wake you can enable that from here and also you have the gesture options which are available which is the full on gesture options I don't personally use it because it does tend to get uh, activated even with the uh, proximity sensor check it does tend to get activated in my pocket so I don't use that vibration strength can be customized which is really interesting and uh, yeah you can customize that normal option is 75 it works really well a less slider is available and it does work decently well so as you can see it is working and uh yeah that's pretty much it you can also customize the uh the the uh, options which are available with the alert slider now in the graphics option you do have srgb mode high brightness mode which is really cool and also white color gamut mode which is really nice the ambient display options you do have options to enable pickup sensor hand wave and also pocket mode which does work decently well and that is it in the personalization options. In the other options inside the settings, you do have, you can see that it is nitrogen. In gesture options are available, so double tapping the power button will jump to camera, which is really cool. System navigation can be enabled or disabled. Now, this is how uh, we, this is how it is. Uh, you can enable the three button navigation, two button navigation, or gesture navigation, which is the Android 10 feature. I personally do not like the gesture navigation for, with the Android 10. I much, much prefer the OnePlus implementation of gesture navigation. So, yeah, to each uh, their own, but this is not what I like. But it is available for those who still like it, or those who are coming from MIUI, I guess. So, yeah. And that is pretty much it with the extra features on the ROM. As you can see, it's not the most feature rich ROM, but it is still, it still has a ton of features to keep you interested for the time being. And I'm really, I, I, I appreciate that because features are not the main focus of this ROM. Main focus of this ROM, in my opinion, is stability and performance. And uh, that uh, doesn't require a lot of features and uh, having a lot of features can be a little decremental to it. So this works really well for that regard. So I'm really happy with that. So yeah, pretty cool. Now the battery life of the ROM. The battery life of the ROM is, uh, let's just say it wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, from the previous versions I have used, um, with the Android 8 was the last version I used or something like that, I'm not really sure. But I, I was getting pretty good battery life. This time it wasn't as good as I expected. I'm not really sure if uh, that is a problem with my phone because it has been a long time. Uh, the OnePlus 3, my OnePlus 3 at least, has gone through numerous, uh, numerous charge cycles. The battery is 
really not as good as it used to be and uh, yeah that could be a reason but uh, active rain was somewhere around 17 to 18 percentage which is a lot idle rain though was pretty cool uh, the reason i'm getting a shitty idle rain is because of my network signal i am using a geo signal geo sim card on this one right now but when i popped in my idea sim and also my vodafone sim the idle rain was much better and uh, if you if i when i didn't have any sim card in it the idle rain was pretty okay i can i can live with that it was uh, i mean even with this one it was ho hovering somewhere around 1.4 percentage which is not that bad but in the grand scheme of things i'm getting a little bit better with other rom so yeah that's just out there now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom is pretty damn impressive i'm getting about 202000 as an average on this one which is not bad at all which is a really good score i used to remember i i, I remember getting 169000 and being excited about it and now it is 206000 now i do want to mention that i have not tried other a10 roms on the one plus 3 so i'm not entirely sure if the scores are higher because of that which is the newer version of android which is streamlined and all that or it is genuinely the roms uh, option if you do know that please pop a uh, comment in this description comment below so that we can be clear about that but this is a score which i'm getting and uh, i can see that oh it is pretty cool now stability of the rom stability of the rom is also pretty rock solid as i've already said everything works um i've used this for two days it has been really really nice for me it is just that much better everything is working i didn't have any hiccups with it i didn't have any restarts with it and with a very new version of the rom i don't expect it to be as good as oxygen os but this one is almost as good as oxygen os and didn't have any issues with it so yeah it's pretty nice now the camera the camera with which it comes is the sort of lineage os camera which is which is okay it's just fine uh no no the camera with which it comes is the AOSP camera which is fine it can take photographs it takes decent photographs and it, it, that's, that's pretty much it um, but to be extremely honest I mean with the Gcam options available just use Gcam it has a lot more options it takes better photographs in my opinion and you can just use it for that as you can see this is the Gcam photo uh, as uh, I will let, let you know this is the Gcam photo okay As you can see, this is the Gcam photo, this is the Lineage photo. Uh, at the first glance, you can see that everything is darker, everything is uh, darker in the Lineage OS and everything is more HDR in uh, Gcam. So, of course, Gcam is better in my opinion, so just use that. Um, right now, the G Gcam 6.2, I believe, is perfectly good. Uh, Gcam 7 has not really been very useful with the OnePlus 3 in my opinion. I have tried a few of versions and it's a bit too complicated for people. So yeah, that's just it. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. The aesthetics of the ROM is pretty decent. I mean, it is A10. If you, are, if you like A10, it should work really well for you. Um, I'm not sure why the theming option or the theming uh, stuff has not been available I, I i can't seem to get it uh in the pixel experience rom which i tried out uh with the, which is my only other experience with stock a aosp android 10 uh we have an option for theming stuff i cannot find uh, why there is no theming options available it's just dark mode or not so not really sure why but hey it is what it is apart from that so yeah that is pretty much it but the dark mode is true dark mode so just keep that in mind everything works in that dark mode so i i am i'm pretty hyped up about dark mode and all that so yeah nice and now the overall experience of using the rom well in the overall experience department i would say that it works decently well now i'm not the target audience for this rom i i would say that because this is a performance rom this is a stability based rom I don't really want a lot of stability at least uh, that is personal uh, I mean I, I, I want uh, tons of features and I just want a little bit of stability so that it can go along with it performance has not been my big suit and also battle life is a very very big suit for me so I mean I, I understand that but still 
the ROM is a great one if you are a gamer and you're still using a OnePlus 3 well I mean it might be time for an upgrade but still if you are there and you are you are looking into routing the device you are looking into using a custom ROM give this one a try because it will be a little bit better than Oxygen OS when it comes to things which concern itself with performance so that is my inference on it uh, let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool So guys that is the boot animation which is an interesting boot animation it is a multi level boot animation which has a lot of options and I really like it uh, it it is interesting and for what do you want from a boot animation you are only going to see it a few times a very very select few times so it works So guys, there you have it. That is the Nitrogen OS on the OnePlus 3. One of the better ROMs available. Now I have not tried out the other ATEM ROMs. I will be doing that and uh, then I will have much more of a of a uh, suggestion or much more much better picture of the landscape right now. So please do tune in for the other reviews because then it will be then this one will be more relevant at the time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, as a conclusion, I do want to mention a few things. G apps, uh, the Open G apps uh, 10, Android 10 is still in beta. So the developer or someone in the developer had said that, or in someone in the forum has said that the call recording is not working correctly. I mean, it works, but it doesn't record anything. That has been attributed to the G apps option. Um, I am still using Open G apps beta for Android 10. If you are having some issues with that, you can use BitG apps, which is uh, which I believe is working, but it's a very old version of G app, so yeah, there are caveats available for it. Apart from that, everything is just gravy. It's it's all it's all working decently well, so yeah. That is pretty much it about the ROMs. I hope you guys like the video. Please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.